day, you two. Welcome to another episode of the Albano Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino. I'm going to drink a beer. Uh, I have a couple beers here, and I have a couple beers over there. Don't know which one I'm going to drink first, actually. I can't do I think I... Uh... I think this one should probably go first, uh, since it's the oldest beer here right now. Uh, this is from the April edition of the Brew Box. Uh, this was bottled on March 14th. This is the Grandmaster OG, or the Grandmaster Original Gruet. So this is the high-end version, the Imperial version, at 8% alcohol for the 600 milliliter bottle. And... Uh, Oh god, I'm sorry guys. Ooh, ooh, that's gonna smell. Um, let's grab the flying monkey's glass here. I do know that Simon wants some bottle caps, so we'll use the BB Barfly to save the bottle cap. And let's pour the 600 milliliter beer. I didn't read the ingredients, did I? No, I did not. Once we uh, do our visual inspection, I'll read the ingredients for you. I'm going to guess yarrow, bog myrtle, maybe some sweet gale. Organic hops, even though a uh, Groot wouldn't have hops. Beautiful off-white head, beautiful, beautiful orangey color. Very see-through, very clear. Clarity is amazing. It does look very nice to me, at least. Um, ingredients. Local spring water. Organic barley malts. Uh, Labrador tea. Organic bog myrtle. Organic hops. Organic thyme. Organic yarrow. And brewer's yeast. Okay, so Labrador tea and thyme. I uh, wouldn't have thought. I know Labrador tea was in the, uh, in the original brew, just the OG. But I didn't know that, I don't remember thyme being in there. But yeah, there you go. Smell. So surprised that there's no... Okay, so... Uh, a sweet, a s just a just a sweet uh, grainy scent coming off the beginning. A um, little, a little bit of that Labrador tea coming out. A little bit of the tea, like a uh, steeped tea leaf smell. Uh, a little bit of thyme. Uh, no yarrow or bog myrtle really. Uh, yarrow I can usually pick up in a in a grew it. They can't in this. That's okay. Just a tiny bit of sweetness as well up at the forefront. It's fine. Let's try it. Cheers. 8% alcohol. Worries me a little bit. Highest ABV uh, Gruit I think I've ever had. Okay. For a beer that has such a soft mouthfeel and such a light body... It hides that alcohol okay. Uh, I'm not going to say really well because there is an astringency in the throat. There is a little bit of a, of a taste on the back of the palate. But uh, for such a light beer, because the OG was super light, and this is just the same, for such a light beer, it does an okay job at hiding that. Um, I would actually probably guess this at like a, a 7 which is only 1% lower, um, but it's, it's not as harsh as I would have expected it to be with such a light beer. The Labrador, Labrador tea covers your tongue from beginning to end in, uh, in a beautiful bouquet of almost... Of almost a mix between um, between orange pico and uh, Earl Grey. Beautiful sweetness up at the forefront. Very 
dirty finish is probably the best way to put it. Um, almost, almost like the beer was filled with, uh, with English hops and, uh, like English hops and cloves. It's a very dirty, very drying finish. Um, all in all, it's a pretty good beer. I mean, the warmth is there. The, uh, the warmth is there. The flavors are there. This is a four-month-old beer, and, uh, you wouldn't know it at all. It tastes extremely fresh, and for something that doesn't have as much hops in it, because it is a Gruet, um, that, that's an intriguing, intriguing thing to find. Uh, I really like this beer, uh, so I'm gonna put this off to the side. I would give this a, uh, 775 out of 10. It's a nice brew. I think that, I think personally for myself, that the best beers by Bose are usually their Gruets. Thank you guys. Bye.